The year is 1998, jamming out to some Shania Twain and I'm about to mag dump my FN57. Oh yeah! The year's 2022, still jamming out the Shania Twain, but now I'm shooting the FN57 MRD. Ooh, but I think I like the OG more. Let's talk about it. Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms out here at Take Aim Training and Range. Here to talk about the FN 5.7. We happen to get a couple of these in and it's like, you know, we haven't really done like a, a review or a video of these and they're really cool pistols. And it's like, you know what, let's talk about them some because, well, do we all remember the 5.7 cartridge as 5.7 by 28, right? That spicy little guy. We did a uh, review on this cartridge alone a while ago. We talked about it and it is a potent little round to say the least. And in the late to early, well, I guess I should just say in all of the 1990s, <laughs> looked like NATO was just trying to replace and go through everything. I mean, HK had that G11, you know, laser looking gun thing. And uh, FN wanted to fulfill a contract that had both a PDW and a pistol that shot the same cartridge. And that cartridge had to be armor piercing, at least at a level three, level three A, uh, they had to be able to defeat level 3A body armor. Let's just put it that way, right? And so they developed this round, the 5.7 by 28, and they developed the P90, and they developed the 5.7 pistol. And since then, it's kind of gained, it's like a really big, I don't even want to say big. I, it's got a following, to say the least. And is it really deserving of the following? Well, we're going to find out because up until recently, we haven't seen actually a whole lot happen with the 5.7. Other than the PS90, other than this pistol, it's kind of like, what else shoots this? And then CMMG entered the chat along with Ruger with their Ruger 5.7 pistol. And it's kind of like, okay, cool. And the Ruger 5.7 coming in at half, almost less than half the cost of a 5.7 pistol and also had more features. It looked like FN said, you know what, we can step it up too and they came out with the MRD or the Mark III pistol that you see right here, which is also optics ready, which is pretty cool. Okay, so ultimately this is gonna be a comparison between the original 5.7 to the MRD, and is it really worth it? Because right now the MSRP on the standard 5.7 pistol like you see right here uh, is just above $1,300, they're not cheap. And then the MRD is just above $1,400, so about $1,450, I think, is what the MSRP is as of right now on FN's website. Okay, cool. The thing is about these guns is I've held guns that have cost over $1,000 before, and they, they feel like it, right? When I pick up this gun, it's almost laughable because you're like, it's so light, it, it kind of feels like an airsoft gun, right? You're like, is this really going to work? Well, the short answer is yes, it, it definitely is. This is a very, very efficient and capable gun shooting a very effective cartridge. Again, that 5.7 round. And it is, I mean, when you got 20 rounds of it in one magazine also, that's pretty awesome. I'm definitely one of those guys that advocates for capacity. And so you get these little like, you know, micro carry guns, concealed carry guns that are, you know, have like eight rounds in them. You're like, okay, cool. I mean, so does my 1911 that's, you know, a thousand years old. Uh, but having something with 20 rounds is pretty cool. Granted, the size, this is a full size gun. There's no other way about that. Concealed carrying this would be easy uh, because how light it is if it was just a little bit smaller frame. So cool. But then you also kind of lose out on the effectiveness of that round whenever you start shorting, shortening that barrel that's already about four inches, four and a half inches or so. So it's a big gun, shorter barrel, spicy round. How does it shoot? Well, let's grab this guy and let's go shoot it, see how it feels, and then compare it to the MRD. Now, FN is renowned for their cold hammer forged barrels, and that's exactly what the FN 5.7 has on both this gun and the MRD. You'll notice that the sights sit pretty high up, which is a nice feature as well, and the controls are pretty intuitive also. You'll notice we actually have a safety in kind of an odd position that makes sense. You typically rest your finger right up here, so it's very easy to manipulate the safety, which is sitting right here and is also ambidextrous. So you can just kind of come here and then you're right on trigger, right? That's kind of a nifty little thing. Also, slide release is just on the one side right here. It does have a 
magazine disconnect. So it's not gonna drop that striker or send the firing pin forward unless the magazine is inserted, all right? Cool, controls are easy to manipulate, that's nice. Trigger, let's just see how the trigger feels after we shoot it. All right, safety off. <laughs> so one thing that I can tell you is, it has to do with something maybe because it's so light, but it's very easy for that muzzle to stay right on target. I mean, it's not really jumping whatsoever. Let's just take a couple more shots and let's see if you guys can see that. That does feel really good. Now I've got a couple rounds left, I think. I got three rounds left. Let's just really focus on that trigger and see what that reset feels like here. So I've got just a slow, steady squeeze. Very good, reset. Slow, steady squeeze, reset, slow, steady squeeze. Nice, slide locks back, of course, and looks good. You'll also notice too that we've got the Picatinny rail right underneath for any type of light laser attachment, which is a nice thing. Trigger feels fine, grip feels fine. I noticed that my knuckle is kind of rubbing up a little bit on the trigger guard. The stippling feels really good. Also, it's nice and aggressive, but it's not eating my hand up, right? So, not bad. Another neat feature, too, is the magazine release is also reversible. So if you wanted to pop that out, put it on the other side for all my left-handed shooters, you can do that, too. Now let's go grab the MRD and see how it feels in comparison. All right, so now let's try the MRD and how that feels. I feel like the trigger's a little bit shorter on this one. Oh yeah, that feels, that feels pretty good. Got a couple rounds left, I think. Let's just see here. There it is, nice. That one feels pretty good too. The grip is a little bit different. We still have the aggressive texturing and the stippling, but now you'll notice that we've actually got kind of more of like that custom stippling on the side of the grip, on the grip panels, I guess you can call them. And that feels pretty good also. It's not anywhere near as aggressive, uh, but what they keep kind of like blank on the standard FN57, I say it like that because they literally capitalize the FN5, capital F, capital N, 5.7. Okay, cool. Uh, the, the other one, it's just kind of blank over here. Uh, so you've got texturing all the way around and it's a snappy gun. Like, I mean, it's just, this is true for just both. Oh, I guess I can feel that, really feel that trigger now. Let's show that off really quick here. So you'll see that I'm taking it up just a little bit before I hit an obvious wall, applying a little bit more pressure. It drops, great, and reset. A little bit of travel, not bad. We'll compare that to the other one here in just a moment. But it does feel really good. Now you'll notice we have the similar type of sights, except these ones are actually day glow. Uh, so in other words, you take a little flashlight, brighten these things up, and they'll glow pretty bright for you at night. They're not tritium or anything like that, okay? But the biggest overall achievement that they gained with this pistol is the fact that you can put on just about any type of red dot you want with the type, with the correct type of plate. So Trigicon, Hollow Sun, all the big names that are out there, uh, you'll be able to throw on their red dot here. And they claim it'll co-witness with just about all of them as well, making sure that you have the correct plate on there. So that's a big deal if you ask me. And it makes sense, really. First of all, the ergonomics are nice. Uh, same safety setup, obviously. You don't have an ambi slide release, just still on the left-hand side. You do have a little bit further undercut at the trigger guard here, so I'm noticing my knuckle isn't rubbing as much, and I'm able to get a little bit higher on the gun. That's gonna make it feel a little bit nicer to shoot, not that it's bad to shoot anyway. You still have some forward slide serrations, but they're actually a little bit bigger, but not as aggressive as the original one. I kinda like the original one a little bit better. I do like the looks of the newer one more, and let's actually just go back and compare them side by side so you can see them. So getting back to the slide serrations, you'll notice that they're a little bit larger on the MRD, but they're a little bit more fine on the you know, standard 5.7, and I think I actually like that more. But I like the looks of this one more. Uh, the barrel or the slide isn't as skinny like the regular 5.7 is right up front here, and you can kind of see that from the top down. And that, of course, I think is try to make it look a little bit better whenever you add the red dot here. I guess like, it's probably all for looks at this point. As far as performance goes, they both feel really, really good, and I actually do want to put in an empty magazine on the regular one and see 
see if there is a difference in the trigger. So let's go ahead. We are on fire, but we are clear. Great. So applying a little bit of pressure, you can see we have a little bit of take up before we hit a wall, just like in the MRD and it drops. Great. And the reset, a little bit of travel. And there we are comparing that again to the MRD. Okay. I keep wanting to go here for the safety. All right. A little bit of travel and reset. Uh, they feel pretty similar. You do have a serrated trigger in both of them, so they're probably the, the exact same. I might have just been getting a little bit more used to this one here. Notice the grip stippling, like what I was saying. The FN logo here is just not surrounded by any type of stippling where it is on the MRD, all right? So other than that, is it worth it? <laughs> For me, yes. Why? Because I'm gonna be putting a red dot on just about every pistol that I carry. If you don't care for red dots on pistols, go with the OG. It's gonna run just great for you and it's still gonna be shooting that spicy little 5.7 by 28 cartridge that everybody knows and loves. Or you might not know it and you might not love it even. It's still freaking cool and you should definitely shoot it. It's, I mean, just imagine a 22 on steroids. That's pretty much 5.56. The 5.7x28 cartridge is freaking awesome, all right? And it shoots, and it's, you know, I mean, the PS90 shoots it, so it's obviously got to be freaking cool, or the, you know, just the P90. But anyway, there you have it as far as the FN 5.7 MRD goes. The biggest difference is, honestly, a little bit of ergonomics and it being able, having an optics cut. Let that be pretty much your determining factor about whether or not you want to spend the extra money on the MRD over the standard 5.7, which is an excellent pistol. And again, lightweight though, they, they do just feel kind of plasticky because they are. So that's something that you guys are just going to have to kind of figure out. I mean, it was designed during the 1990s where everything was kind of weird and funky. So it kind of makes sense. But it has stood the test of time and has been in service for about 20 years as well. I mean, it's still being used by multiple different countries and agencies, so that's got to speak to its uh, credibility as well. But anyway, let me know what you guys think and what your experiences are with the FN57 pistols. Do you have the MRD? Do you have the standard? Do you have one of the other models that they offer? Let me know. Let me know if you love it or you don't, or if you sold it or if you kept it. Let everybody else know down in the comments section who might be looking in to one of these newer models, new for 2022, the MRD Mark III. It is a cool pistol, I will give it that. All right, and head on over to classicfirearms.com to get your entries in for our current giveaway. You can find the code word to get yourself a couple hundred extra entries down below, so don't forget to enter that. And don't miss out on this giveaway because who doesn't want a free gun, right? Don't miss out, everybody, and as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless, and we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.